Today, there are more than a billion smokers on the planet, and the World Health Organization predicts that this number will not change in the foreseeable future. Smoking is dangerous and causes serious diseases. Of course, the best thing a smoker can do to reduce their health risks is to stop smoking altogether, but most smokers don't quit. I'm part of the R&D team from PMI, and right now, we're on the edge of a game changer with massive public health implications. It's one of the most important projects that I've ever worked on. I'm Dr. Bruce Clark, Vice President of Regulatory and Scientific Affairs at PMI. The project I'm talking about is Reduce Risk Products, which we call RRPs. Our objective is to move as many smokers as possible from combustible cigarettes to RRPs as soon as possible. The Tokyo team have got the data verified. Right, and uh, Satoshi has some time set aside to meet with us. Yep, you'll both travel together to meet Mr. Kondo. You're flying into Narita Airport. And just to confirm, they do have the data from the second half of the study as well? The whole three months. Okay, great. Thank you. Japan is where we've conducted several important clinical studies on the product. Tonight, I'm flying to Tokyo to meet with the manager of the clinical study team. He has the results of people using RRP products developed here at the Cube, our home of R&D. 300 scientists, experts across a range of disciplines. After decades of research, we have products that have the potential to significantly improve smokers' health outcomes and quality of life compared to conventional cigarettes. When RRP research first started at PMI, I was working in the pharmaceutical industry, developing medicines to cure disease. When I got a call from PMI, I was surprised. I was working on drugs that could extend the lives of the very sick, a million miles away from a tobacco company. When I looked at what PMI were developing, I understood that they were committed to products that could reduce the risk of disease in the first place. This was a big draw for me. With that product, which is uh, essentially our electronic cigarette, we have advanced quite a lot. What we've commercialized now is ICOS, our heat not burn platform. So we've taken the learnings and applied it to a completely new technology. We keep working on the idea of reducing the harmful compounds from the aerosol. Decades of tobacco and smoking research all drive to an important conclusion. If tobacco is burned, it's going to be dangerous. It's those high temperatures of burning that cause the production of the majority of harmful chemicals that are found in cigarette smoke. The core technology of our latest RRP products heats tobacco instead of burning it because heating creates far fewer harmful chemicals than burning. The lit end of a cigarette can reach temperatures up to 900 degrees centigrade. This breaks down tobacco into thousands of chemicals which are found in cigarette smoke. Many of these are harmful or potentially harmful. In our new products, the tobacco is instead heated. It reaches a maximum temperature of 350 degrees centigrade. At these lower temperatures, many of the physical and chemical reactions associated with burning don't take place. As a result, the tobacco vapor contains, on average, 90 to 95 percent lower levels of harmful and potentially harmful chemicals compared to smoke from a reference cigarette. Japan is the first nation where we started selling one of these potentially reduced risk products. It's also an interesting country because it's where we've conducted several important clinical studies on the product. And that's why I've come here. Tonight, I'm seeing the data from our latest clinical trial on RRPs. It's the most detailed study we've ever done, and its results are crucial. Bruce, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome Thanks to so Japan. Thank you. The product is doing incredibly well here. Yes, yes. Already, the number of devices that we've sold in the Japanese market exceeded 2 million devices. It's gratifying to hear that, as presented, the product is acceptable in general to uh, current smokers.
仕事は造園関係の仕事をしてます、えっと、お客さんに会う時はあの匂いとかもあるのであのあのまあ知識として知っているのでできるだけそばでは吸わないようにするとかそういったことをしますしあとは。外品とか考えたことありますか？考えたことはないですけど、あればいいなと思います。RRPs are an entirely new tobacco product category. They must pass the most demanding standards ever seen in the tobacco industry. I'm about to meet the manager of the clinical study team at CIMIC, one of the world's leading clinical trial operators. He's going to walk me through the details of the Japanese clinical study. Our most comprehensive trial so far. This trial compared the effects on people using ICOS, those continuing to smoke conventional cigarettes, and those who quit completely. The study's report is that 160 people took the study. 78 people took ICOS. 42 people took conventional tobacco. 40 people took PN Group. Now there was two periods, if you will, in the study. One was in the clinic, and then the other part was at home. How important was it to have that second half of the study at home? The 後半の部分が非常に重要になると思います。で、これがあの市販された後のですね、環境に非常に近いデータになります。So when you look at these results, what does it say to you? What do you think is the most important message that this data represents? によって、アイコンする。アイコスを吸っている人とタバコをやめた方あの両方に関してですね非常に同じようなデータが出てますのでアイコスを使うことによってですねタバコの害が非常に少なくなるのではないかというふうに私どもは考えております。We can take the whole set of evidence to the scientific community and regulators to get their feedback, but it's not going to be easy. People are skeptical, which is natural. They may say, of course the tobacco industry would say everything is okay, but the data are the data. And we hope that eventually these data will encourage adult smokers who want to continue using tobacco to switch to reduced risk alternatives.僕タバコ吸ってるのは二十歳の時から仕事なんかでも行き詰まるとまあ休憩でタバコを吸ってますね家族の前ではタバコは吸いません。あ奥さんにはあのタバコやめてほしいってやっぱり言われますね。So we are in Harajuku, but uh, you see the uh, people smoking here. Right. This is a, a typical smoking post in uh, designated smoking areas. Uh, in Japan, many local governments put in place the outdoor smoking restrictions. Because ICOS doesn't burn tobacco, it doesn't present a risk of fire or burning passers-by in an overcrowded city like Tokyo. You cannot smoke on the street, right? Uh, but you can use ICOS. But ICOS is okay. Yes, ICOS is oh, okay. okay. Our goals of putting alternative products on the market that have the potential to reduce population harm can be summarized by the harm reduction equation. The equation shows that an RRP, of course, needs to be reduced risk, but it is equally important that RRPs are acceptable for current adult smokers who don't want to quit and that they switch to them completely. Over 2 million ICOS units have been sold in Japan, with over 1 million users fully converting. Finding the right way to communicate with adult smokers in the real world is an integral part of what we are trying to do. Smokers need to understand that the ritual associated with RRPs is very different to cigarettes, so we are ensuring that adult smokers have the opportunity to try the product and are fully informed about the correct way they should be used. Well, it's encouraging for just from a harm reduction point of view, the data is coming in on the product, demonstrating it really has the potential to reduce risk but then you see the consumer accepting the product, which is vital 
in terms of seeing a public health impact. As you talk about uh, harm reduction equation, this uh, part about uh, product acceptance right. by the adult smokers, so far it's proving to be a very promising product uh, for the future. Tobacco has been consumed for centuries and has caused serious health issues in a large proportion of its consumers. Only now is technology allowing us to develop products that have the potential to present less risk of harm in smokers who switch to them completely. The uptake of RRPs in Japan so far has been phenomenal and, for me at least, validates the hard work we've been doing back in the cube. Different countries have different methods for assessing new products like this. But it all comes back to the science, and our science is strong. Our data is open for scrutiny, and we welcome independent review. With our data set now and the consumer acceptance piece coming together, we see what the potential really is. And I mean, that's been our intention from the beginning in terms of developing these products. And I guess the question for us now is, what's next? Our ultimate aim is to replace cigarettes with RRPs, to provide viable, reduced risk alternatives so that all adult smokers who want to continue using tobacco switch to RRPs. This is our challenge in the years ahead.